NTSB system specialist John DeLisi faces one of the biggest challenges of his career. We knew the airplane was on approach into Detroit and something dramatic happened. Something went wrong suddenly. What a mess. The NTSB's Richard Rodriguez leads the investigation. Our mission is to find the cause of an accident, make recommendations that will prevent it from ever happening again. He's very familiar with this type of plane, having investigated previous accidents involving the Embraer 120. The Embraer 120 propeller blade had separated due to a fatigue crack uh, over in an accident earlier in Georgia. And the crew was able to land it, but uh, it was very difficult to control. In two previous cases, part of a propeller blade broke off in mid-flight. Could it have happened again? Rodriguez reviews details of where the two propellers were found at the Detroit crash site he makes a troubling discovery. Part of one blade ended up 75 feet away from the main impact crater. He can't help but wonder, is this the third time he's seen an Embraer 120 propeller fail? We need to take a look at those propeller blades. We wanted to get those blades of the propeller to ensure they were intact at impact. Rodriguez studies the blade fragment, looking for evidence of failure. If the propeller blades were all attached and spinning at impact, they would have all hit the ground with tremendous force, resulting in distinctive damage on every blade. This is impact damage. We're spinning right to the end. The analysis leaves no doubt. Though the propellers fragmented when they hit the ground, they did not fail in flight. 